Thank you again for joining me at the World Innovation Forum to hear about how we can repurpose tumor cells into efficient cell-based therapeutics. I'm Khalid Shah and I direct the Center for Stem Cell Therapeutics and Imaging and Brigham's, uh, where we are focused on developing cell-based therapies for primary and metastatic tumors. Despite great leaps in the treatment of cancer, solid tumors remain the most challenging tumor types to treat, uh, particularly due to the hostile environment, which is acidic, hypoxic, and immunosuppressive. Among solid tumors, highly malignant brain tumors and glioblastomas are the most difficult to treat. Cell-based immunotherapy strategies provide a valuable option for such difficult to treat tumors, and multiple studies are ongoing with the goal of translating these therapies into clinical settings. However, current cellular therapies are limited by the complexity of engineering cells, their subsequent expansion, and, and uh, limited off-the-shelf availability at the time of first line of treatment, which is tumor resection or debulking in, in solid tumors. We know from a number of solid tumors that shedding of tumor cells into circulation occurs in large numbers and from early stages of tumor formation. For example, for some breast cancer models, it's been shown that a primary tumor site is that's about one gram in, in weight contains one billion cells. And out of those one billion cells, one million are shed into the bloodstream every day. The neovasculature of primary tumors is commonly leaky allowing circulating tumor cells to re-enter the primary tumor site while the microenvironment is in tune with their genetic makeup. With the advent of gene engineering and gene uh, editing technologies, we use these autologous tumor cells as therapeutic entities as they offer patient specificity and are a natural source of tumor-associated antigens. We show that in highly malignant and invasive glioblastomas, they, these cells track their own types um, in, in the brain. We took these tumor cells, which were sensitive to cell surface targeted receptor therapy and gene edited cell surface receptors to make them therapy resistant. We then engineered these cells to express ligands or cell death agents and a safety kill switch and utilized them to kill the original cell, cell uh, sensitive tumor cells. These resistant tumor cells were then eliminated with an inbuilt safety switch. We show therapeutic efficacy in vitro um, and in vivo in both primary and metastatic brain tumors. And then the incorporation of a built-in safety switch, which is also a PET imaging agent. We show that these cells can be tracked by PET imaging and can be eliminated by activating, uh, by activating a kill switch. As the proof of concept was shown in immune compromised animals, we do not fully explore the potential of our therapeutic concept. Utilizing mouse syngenic brain tumor models, we have recently identified immunologically inert and active syngenic tumor types and our RNA sequencing and, and site of data show that inert tumors like their human counterparts are immune suppressive Tumor resection is the first line of treatment in about 75 to 80% of the patients who are diagnosed with GBM. To mimic the clinical scenario of first line of GBM treatment, that's tumor resection, we have built in mouse tumor models of GBM resection and recently shown that tumor resection invigorates tumor anti-tumor response while increasing T cells, activated microglia and decreasing resident macrophages. We utilize these immune suppressive therapy sensitive tumor cells and gene edited cell surface receptors in these cells. We then gene engineered them to express immune modulators which have a dual role of activating programmed cell death in residual tumor cells and modulating an immune response. A double kill switch RAPA-Cas9 HSVTK was used to kill these uh, gene modified resistant cells. The exposure of tumor antigens would then result in, in immunological memory. Utilizing our tumor resection models, we show that therapeutic tumor cells eradicate residual tumor cells in the resection cavity in both recurrent and, and primary tumors, um, which are uh, the recurrent ones, which are timosolomide resistant as well. 
We've extended these findings into metastatic lung tumors and show that therapeutic tumor cell derived from lung carcinoma prevent tumor growth and distant metastasis. In all primary, recurrent, and metastatic tumors, the built-in double uh, kill switch eradicates engineered therapy resistant tumor cells. Our bulk RNA sequ sequencing profile revealed that our therapeutic tumor cells shifted the less immunogenic residual tumors to more immunogenic tumors. Gene enrichment analysis indicated that several genes were up and down regulated, specifically PDGFRB and NOSH3 genes in the therapeutic treatment group. In the tumor resection cavity, more apoptotic cells were seen uh, and lower expression of PDGFRB was seen in the therapeutic treatment group. A big question for us, how do we translate this approach into clinical settings? As, a, as tumor reoccurrence happens in almost 95% of the GBM patients, given the unmet need, our first indication will be recurrent tumors. At the time of resection, GBM, primary GBM tumors, uh, GBM lines will be created, which will be gene edited and engineered in our GMP facility uh, as as GBM tumors reoccur within six to 12 months, recurrent patient tumors will be treated with patients on engineered tumor cells. Given the complexity of delivering drugs across blood-brain barrier, uh, our approach mm -hmm. offers ready availability uh, of personalized off-the-shelf cellular therapy for, for recurrent GBMs and presents an exciting opportunity to serve as a potential cure for this devastating disease. We hope to complete the IND enabling studies by 2022 and initiate phase one trial by 2025. We're also obtaining, aiming at obtaining fast track designation and orphan drug status by 2025. And we'll need the initial capital for around 3 million to perform studies on obtaining IND and another 12 million for initiating phase one uh, studies. This is an exciting technology which we have pioneered and we look forward to a collaborative effort to move this therapeutic product into clinical settings. I'm happy to continue this uh, conversation after my talk. Thank you again for your time.